So if we play this back here, I'm going to pull up our video panel as well, and you can take a listen and look at some of this. Red Rider. I trust you got some sleep last night. So ideally what I'd like to do is provide my video editor with complete stems of each one of these tracks of audio. And you can see that if you look here like on this first voice mono track, there's actually multiple clips that live in the track itself. We've got this effects track which just has some effects kind of in the middle and then we've got a bike sound effects mix. So I'd like each one of these to be one continuously long stream that has all of the effects that we've actually applied on these tracks so that the editor or someone else can actually hear everything as it sounds in audition when they're cutting the video together. So to do that, it's very, very simple. We can go up to the file menu, choose export, multi-track mix down, an entire session. So the first thing we want to do is actually give it a name. Now this of course is going to reference the actual session name, which in this case is very, very long. We can leave that as it is. You then need to choose a location. You can see here that I chose uh, a folder called stems export on my desktop. And then we come to formats. And this is one of the more exciting features in Adobe Audition CS6. Lots of new export and import formats supported. So again, by default, if we want to keep it uncompressed, we would probably choose Windows PCM Wave. We're going to go ahead and choose that there. Sample type will keep that the same we will keep uh, the bit depth the same, format settings the same, but mix down options is where we want to go because this is where we can tell Audition exactly what we want exported. So we're going to click on the change button here and this is where we can choose what stems are actually created. So we have the option here to create a stereo master, so this is everything compiled all together in a single stereo file, but we can additionally create a single stem for the voice track, the extra sound effects, the sound effects mix, and the music mix down. And you can see because we have a bus on the music track here, we can even do a separate export of the music bus as well. So we can go ahead and choose that, click OK. Again, we can include markers and in any other metadata that's in any of these files. We can have the files open after the export is completed. And it begins exporting individual stems of all of these tracks. Now when it does that, of course, they'll appear inside the files panel. So let's go over to our files panel. We know which files they are because they have the complete name of the session listed here, which is Jerry Bike Full Mix O2 Auto Speech Align Mix Down. And here's where we can see all of our individual stems. And if we double click on these, you can see this one is that little sound effects bleep at the end, right at the end. There it is, a little scratch. Uh, here's our music mix down. Here's our sound effects mix. Here's our complete stereo mix down of everything. And here's just a solo track just with the voices. Red Rider, I trust you got some sleep last night.